what is up guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a slow motion video but we're going to be using optical flow which is a new feature in filmora 13. now in the past you were able to use maybe frame sampling as well as maybe frame blending which aren't always the best quality but they are faster but when we start using optical flow this is going to be a lot slower in terms of rendering the video it's going to make the video file a lot bigger but it's going to be higher quality this is how you make actual good slow motion videos now let's go ahead and get started all right so as you can see here i have filmora open and i do have a video here i'm going to play this for you so you guys can get a preview of what this is i'm going to play the video just people walking perfect video to create a slow motion video pretty cool here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this video a lot shorter. Like I said before, when you're using optical flow slow motion, this is going to make the video file a lot bigger, which means it's going to take more time to render the video. It's going to take more time to actually even pre-render the video to preview uh, on the timeline. So I'm going to go ahead and split this right here and I will delete the rest of this. All right. Go ahead and move back to the beginning. So you want to make sure that the video is selected or the clip that you're trying to apply slow motion to. Make sure it's selected. And we're going to go right above the timeline with our where there is our toolbar where you're going to find a speed uh, tool here. So now, if you don't have this, uh, you can easily add it by going to the right side or left side of the toolbar. Click on it and you are going to find things that aren't on here so you can actually add uh, things on here so if i wanted to add let's say uh which one do i not have i think i have all of them let's do um uh okay let me remove one of this so you can click drag and remove things right so if i wanted to add the slide added to my toolbar i can click drag and drop this anywhere on the toolbar right so you can arrange these by how you you know the tools you use most most often and tools you don't you can arrange them that way so i'm gonna put this at the end because i don't really use that go ahead and hit save now click on it and we're going to go ahead and hit uniform speed okay uniform speed is essentially you want to create a uniform speed across the entire clip right there is an option to speed ramp where you can uh kind of like you know create different speeds on different parts of the clip but uniform speed just allows you to um to apply you know uh, a speed effect to the entire clip it, it needs to be uniform throughout the entire clip all right so let's say i wanted this to be uh a little slower here let's go uh let's see here okay this is pretty slow let's go Let's make it really slow, okay? Make it really slow. And you can see kind of like this, uh, uh, the measurement down here. So this is, um, you can click the drop down if you want to use some quick, uh, you know, some quick uh, default settings here. So you could essentially just use this. Go click that drop down and use these options here. Uh, or you can use, obviously use this slider. You can slide uh, left just to make it slower. And if you want to fast forward, you could do that as well. But let's put it at, um, you know, 0.10. Uh, percent or in 10x here and uh, you have your duration here that's going to be how long uh, the clip is going to be right here that's going to be the duration of the entire clip really and um, down here is where we can actually uh, change our options so this is the ai frame interpolation right little description here press enter on the timeline to preview the result um, and see here what does it say uh which will be applied when exporting right so it will let you preview it and it's going to be applied when you export uh, the video all right so if i go here hit enter it's going to show you how slow this is moving so you can see this is regular uh, slow motion right you see how this is not smooth it looks like it's jumping frame by frame right nothing too not too uh, good here uh just regular uh slow mo now, I'm going to click this drop down here. You're going to see our options here. The first option is obviously the frame sampling, which is what we're seeing. You can, you can actually see the footage moving from frame to frame to frame to frame in that slow motion. Uh, now, you also have uh, frame uh, ben blending here, which is faster, but it's going to give you low quality as well, right? It's a little better than the frame uh, sampling. Now, the, new, the newer, uh, I guess the best one is going to be the optical flow. This is going to be slower, but it's going to be able to uh, give you a higher quality of a slow motion effect. So I'm going to select that on here. And now once you have this, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Cool. Now, this is not going to be applied over here. This is going to be applied when you render out the video, right? So um, I can hit the little, uh, let's do the uh, the render preview, 
right? Hopefully this doesn't take too long. So this is going to take a good while to do create a render preview just because the, just because, you know, this is slower using optical flow is going to, you know, it's going to create a bigger file, which is going to need more time to uh, render out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel cancel that and i'll just go ahead and export uh, the video so i'm gonna hit export so as you can see the conversion process is going to take a while here simply because you know we're using optical flow that's going to create a bigger file that needs more time and it's slower to render all right so now that the video has finished converting this is what it looks like This is better quality, but it did take longer to convert or render or export out of Filmora. That's going to be the only downside to this. It's going to take some time. Now, that is pretty much it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.